Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Ultra Mod Nuclear Thrum and again this time as good old horror. Good old horror and with horror we come with some obvious ultra mutations to grab this one here uh, and it seems to be that we just have to hold a golden weapon for this one so not particularly too difficult at all. Um, the crown of choice does make it a little more difficult but as we've seen previously we can take the crown of choice early and then switch off of it. So, we'll take the crowd of choice for now, and then kind of see how that goes. I mean, the good thing is, Golden Flamethrower is a really good one, especially if we can pick up an early um, mood swing. Makes it really goddamn good. Um, so, we'll see if we can do exactly that. That'd be really nice. Also, of course, getting the extra choices should make things a little easier for us. And I think I'm going to go with Impact Wrists early on, especially in this area. I think that'll be quite nice. Hopefully, enemies will bounce around and kill each other for us. That'd be rather nice. Ooh, didn't see that coming. Obviously, we do have our beam as well that we can use to uh, destroy projectiles and stuff. I don't find the beam all that useful, I'll be honest, but I can use it on occasion. And you, you do get some rads back for it as well if you actually hit with it. So, it can be pretty goddamn good. And especially on certain enemies in particular, it's very good. Um, it's just one of those things that I don't use a ton. But... With our crown of choice here, yeah, we're switching out things too often here. Um, Adrenaline Fuel I've found to be pretty strong in the past. Although this, I believe, includes things like Flamethrowers, Tails End, Burst Weapons, Fire 3% more, um, Charge Weapons, Charge 100% faster. Now, I don't know, does Flamethrower count as a Burst Weapon or a Charge Weapon? I'm going to guess Burst, maybe? Either way, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. It seems interesting. Yeah, I think it is. I think it just... Basically, I think we just use less ammo per... Like, every time we fire, we use we use more fire uh, for each ammo that we use. Which is pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And you can see at the minute, our ammo efficiency is amazing anyways. We didn't particularly need that, but it's nice to have. We'll go straight through here as well. Beautiful stuff. We are leveling up rapid style. Open mind, of course. Pretty goddamn good right now. And we try, we'll try and switch off our crown later on. Uh, it depends, though. We might be able to actually get through. If we get Mood Swing especially and maybe scary a base, we might be able to just hold this um, this weapon the entire time, which would be kind of amazing. I'm not going to guarantee that, obviously, but it's plausible. It's plausible. I mean, it's not so plausible when we instantly die to getting walked into by an enemy I didn't see, but in general, it's plausible. I, I, I genuinely just completely missed that dog that walked into me there. The boss kind of spawned and it flustered me a little bit. But yeah, we are back playing some lovely, lovely Nuclear Throne. My god, do I adore this game. I don't know if this, this game will ever leave my channel. <laughs> I just, it's so good. It's just so addicting to play. Um, and obviously the mod itself is very, very good too. Um, duh, duh, duh. Gonna go with extra feet. I, I, I underrate extra feet and I think it's pretty good. I think extra movement speed helps a ton. And dodging out the way of stuff. And just, I mean, getting around quick is always nice. I, I like this. Yeah, t tail end is definitely pretty good. Didn't mean to actually go through here, but here we are. And we can actually save ourselves with our beam as well on occasion. So I should try and do that when I can. Ooh, double health pick up there. Wasn't expecting it. We don't like you guys shooting through walls. That's not on the docket for us right now. I mean, that guy killing himself... We can get down with that. Yeah, honestly, extra feet right now is saving my bacon. Oh! Are you... Man. I don't have many issues with this mod. I don't. But that micro-missile is some horse shit. It's way, way too small to see. And it just tracks you forever. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> and it stays in the air for so long. And it's like a stage one boss. Ugh. It's, 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 it's egregious. I don't like it. It's probably me just being a, a little complainy, complainy pants, but still. Um, what do we go for here? I'm actually going to go for patience. I know it's a bit of a weird one to go for, but we do get a couple of patiences. Um, it does make our life easier. Oh man, this is so... Only having one weapon as well, meaning we're only really getting ammo for this gun is, is oh, very nice. It just stays full, like, all the time. And then the flamethrower is just an insanely good golden weapon. I think we can genuinely just hold this thing and carry it the entire way with one weapon. 
There's good old mood swing that we were looking for, so we'll take that. Mood swing with fire basically means that our fire spreads to enemies, uh, does a bit of spread damage. It's pretty nice, it, it makes the flamethrower even more AoE than it already was. And it just means it does more damage as well, which is very nice. That's good range on it as well. That's another thing about the flamethrower. That's really good range. Um, maybe go with Scarier Face, see how that goes. And then Tail End as well for that ammo efficiency. And potentially higher damage output. Look at that, 30 damage there. I don't know how this is going to work with Scarier Face, to be honest, though, because it does tick damage. I don't think tick damage will be that heavily improved. Oh, no. No, it is. It is. I'm seeing an improvement, clearly. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Scarier Face is uh, is helping quite a bit. Yeah, it's 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 actually kind of insane how good Scarier Face is with this. I didn't think it'd be very good at all. But with this plus Mood Swing seems to be an insane combo. Also, the Fire Dispelling Toxic there is really nice. Get all that out of the way before it ends up hurting us. I did see there was a Sniper over there looking at me, but... I'm going to choose to ignore it. Dude, this is insane how good this is right now. Look how much AoE we've got going on and the damage we're outputting. This is actually beautiful. I, I, I adore this. We are dealing Buku damage. Let's get another damage up, like Glass Arm Cannon to reduce enemy HP. By the way, I realize someone said in the comments that I keep saying that Glass Arm Cannon increases damage. I know it doesn't technically increase damage, but enemies having less HP is the... Enemies having 25% less HP is basically the same as my gun doing 25% more damage. The, 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 they're pretty similar. Not exactly. There is different implications, but they're very, very similar. So I, I understand that sometimes I'll say it's a damage increase when it's technically not, but it, it effectively is. It increases the speed at which I can kill enemies. There. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. And then Plutonium Hunger on top of this as well, just to make it a little easier to grab the ammo and stuff. Always nice to see. Good, go straight in there. We are speeding through this. My goodness. Um, is there anything else we want to grab here? Trigger Fingers, I don't think, does much for us. Honestly, this might be another patience, to be honest. Um, I don't exactly know what re how reloading works. I'm going to go with the Glass Arm Cannon. Even though it does lower my maximum HP to potentially slightly dangerous levels, I can bank on getting some defensive stuff later. And just having enemies die quicker now seems fun. Dude, Scarier Face is insane with the flamethrower. I didn't think it'd be very good at all. It's incredibly good. Oh, I've accidentally tabbed out. My, my bad, my bad. One second, one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What have I done? Sorry, there's a black screen for a while there. I clicked onto my opposite monitor by accident there. That's you dead, good. My goodness. This is a hell of a lot of fun. Really? Really, Crows? You're going to play this game with me? Couldn't just be normal and be where I am. There you go. We got him. We got him. Oh, nope. There's still one more. Goddamn Crows, man. Goddamn Crows. Right. We're good to go. This area is not going to be that big of a problem. My main worry right now is if we get a lot of those big guys in a row, our armor, armor, some, uh, sorry, ammo situation is going to be slightly more taxing. So far, not so bad. Be nice to get um, back muscles, to be fair, to carry a bit more ammo. Is that it? Wow, that was a very quick stage. Um, bridge could be interesting here. Rage could be interesting. I think I'm just going to go with Strong Spirit, though, just as a, a backup for if I mess up. Okay, 
useful. We managed to get ammo here and there. As I said, I was a little worried about ammo there, but the game threat is nice. The game threat is nice. Also, remember, on each stage we can pick up a gun. We'll just lose it at the end of the stage. Doesn't mean we can't pick one up on the stage. I know, I know I'm playing it with one gun right now, but I don't actually need to. See what I mean about that ammo situation? It's not ideal. Platinum Hunger does alleviate a lot of my issues, because I just can grab ammo from much further away, but it doesn't completely solve our problem. But damn, this is... I love runs like this, where it's just like... Everything's going on. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Platinum Hunger's grabbing all our uh, rads, so we don't have to worry about losing rads. I realize I'm underutilizing the beam right now, but I honestly, I find the beam to not be something I use heavily until late game when I don't need the rads anymore. While I need the rads, I'd rather keep uh, keep them and level up quicker. You've got to be opening now, right? Nope, not quite yet. There must be another little house of uh, fools somewhere. There you go, it's open. We're good to go. Level 8 as well. Damn, we've leveled up fast. Okay, um... It's a little, it's a little bit late for it, honestly. Um, so let's go with Bloodlust. And this might, might be a bad idea, putting Explosive on this, but I'm willing to give it a go. I'm just thinking with Mood Swing, Explosions seem like they could be good. Oh, bollocks. No, I've just took a... Very high amount of damage at a very inopportune time. Just, just let me, let me cook. Literally let me cook. Let me cook all these enemies. Okay, we managed to get up to full health and we managed to kill him in the meantime. I honestly don't even know how we did that. Okay, the game is giving us HP like nobody's business at least, so... It doesn't seem to explode, like, do an explosion too often, which is actually kind of nice. I was worried it was going to be exploding on, like, literally every enemy it hit. Is this the room where we have extra feet? I don't remember. I think it, it feels like I'm moving faster. I don't remember the... Nah, I don't think I do, actually. So I was, I was moving through the web slower, wasn't I? If you have extra feet, you can uh, get through the webs at full speed, which is actually super, super nice, to be honest. It's one of the things that I forget about extra feet, that on this level specifically is, like, insanely valuable. <laughs> I see a policeman. I see you. Look, look at all that extra fire damage. Tail's End is another thing with ammo-wise that's really saving us here. Okay. Okay, one more level up, and let's try and go for something that's going to save us here. Although, Ecstatic Fists to get us a bunch of extra damage. The full damage setup with this thing does seem incredibly appealing. 25 on that first hit there. 35% extra damage. We're, we're overhealed at the minute for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, to be honest. I'm not sure what we did to earn that, but... Certainly won't uh, dispute it. Luckily, our flamethrower does just about reach this guy. I was a little worried it wouldn't. But goddamn, did it absolutely decimate him. Last few friends over here. Is that it? Not quite level up. We are on the final stages now, so we should be able to get something going. Oh, that's a lot of doggies. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to jump at me pretty heavily there. I'm more scared about me exploding myself because of the explosion effect on this than anything. Or running out of ammo, to be honest. Running out of ammo is, is fairly plausible here. Oh my god. Okay. We got our level up. That was... The ammo is... Yeah, the ammo is... Dude, this is a lot of doggies. A lot more than normal. Right. We've done it. Is that it? That is it. Okay. Cash flow. Replace his beam with cash flow. Cash flow uses cash instead of rads. Get 100 cash every area. Cash maximum is 500. Kills generate cash. Upgrades to beams still apply. 
You can keep using active even while in debt, but active will be locked until out of debt at the start of the next area. Interesting. We are we we have also been given a golden skin. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, doggies coming in hot. Oh, okay. That that ended that pretty swiftly there. That was fun though. That was fun. We can uh, we can go and take a look at some of the other skins actually. Let's go back to the main menu. And now we can go with horror. And we do have a D skin now. What's that C and B skin? Okay. Uh, a B skin is reach the palace without leveling up as horror. We did try to do that before. Pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. Um, and we've also got complete a main area on loop using only the beam. Both of those are pretty tricky, but I guess we'll try and do the palace one for now, just while we're, we're going through this. Reach the palace, though, leveling up as horror. Okay. There's got to be a crown that's good for that, so let's give this a go. Um, reach the palace without leveling up. More enemies, less rads. Might be decent. Um... Hmm. High chance for inverted portals could be interesting. More cursed chests could be good. Hmm. I don't know which one of these is going to be good for us here. I guess, actually, Crown of Frogs is one that I've never really understood the existence of, to be honest. Oh, hello. I didn't realize the boss would also spawn here. That's, uh, that's a little... Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, well, this is cheeky as fuck, game. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cheeky. <laughs> but I've never really understood the existence of this, to be honest. We'll take it. So technically getting stuff to him through our beam's power would be good here. Where you at, last enemy? But yeah, this just cuts out a few levels for us. Let's go. Okay, this is definitely going to be tricky. Plutonium Hunger is like one of the things that I'm like, is it good or is it bad? I don't know. I'm going to level up by accident at some point. It's my main sort of worry right now. I've got to be really, really careful about the amount of rads I allow myself to pick up at once. It's just a little bit too many. It's very, very easy to level up at level one, so... Okay, that, they all fill into there, so that's fine. There was an inverted portal there that I didn't see. Okay, so now we can actually change our crown, right? Uh, let's go around and change our crown, because... This one is now worthless to us. We skipped a few floors, but... Damn, that was kind of close. I used a lot of rads there. Right. What could we go for now that's going to be useful? Walls don't exist could be kind of interesting, I guess. Um, It's not as interesting as I thought. It, uh, it's actually terrible. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to walk in the area where the walls are no longer. I cannot. <laughs> this has just made my life a lot, lot harder. Hmm. <laughs> Need you to chill out, big buddy. I don't know how much health you actually have. 
No, I leveled up. I leveled up. How was I meant to avoid it? Restart. Sewer skip at the start seems like a decent idea. Dude, not giving me ammo off the bat like this is is maybe one of the worst things you... It's not even an ammo chest. It's a mimic. No. I don't accept. I do not accept. Okay, this is this has become a much harder challenge than I anticipated. But anything else that could be really good for us? I'm gonna try this. I've never tried this before. I don't know how much more aggressive the enemies become. Okay then, take that. Although I've run out of ammo again, so I'm starting the stage with no ammo, so I'm basically goddamn dead. No rads, no ammo to start the stage seems a little unfair. I'm gonna try my best to make my way over towards that ammo there, but yeah, I didn't think that was gonna happen, I'll be honest, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um. I like the idea of this one, though. I should the game to be less awful to me. Where we go? I guess I can take a wrench at this point. I need a way to, like, not pick up rads ever. <laughs> Excuse me, scorpion. Get rid of those rads. This is going to be very tricky. <laughs> I, did, I think I did, like I said, I think I did try this before. Oh, man. I can't even actually play the game right now. Is there any others that's going to be really, really good for us? Inverted portal higher chance. Hmm. More chance of inverted portals could be good. Maybe better weaponry. Now I can actually pick up weapons. I should focus more on trying to get better weaponry. Oh, I wanted the, I wanted the goddamn ammo chest. Stop starting me in the next stage with no ammo. What am I to do? What's a guy to do? I was about to say, if that doesn't drop ammo, I'm screwed, but luckily it did. How did I not get hit there? Put Bouncer on that, maybe? Why not? Micro Assault Rifle. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay, um... Through we go. I still think the sewer start is probably the best way to go, to be honest. Sewer start seems very, very good. Good. Really, really hard, like, once you get to the later enemies to manage the rads, because there's just so many rads on the floor, and it's so easy to absorb them. So easy. This is this is such a weird challenge. Don't try and snipe me. 
I've literally just got to be holding my beam button, like, all the time, I guess. Seems like the only logical way to do this. There you go. I mean, it's, it's working right now. It's a bit janky, but it's working. Weapon's not the best for us right now, but it's it's getting us by. Yeah, when I'm in areas like this where there's just a ton of rads, I kind of have to just hold it down. It's like the only way. Okay. Excuse me. That's explosive again. That was pretty good last time. Ammo, good, good. Oh my god, this is just... It's not it. Need more health as well. So I can't level up, so I can't even get things that give me more health. It's tricky as hell. Probably one of the harder unlocks that I've seen. I don't know how on earth I'm going to kill this guy. He can shoot through goddamn walls, this dude. But at least the micro-missiles get instantly destroyed. I want the health! I just wanted the goddamn health! Anyways, I think we're going to leave it there because this challenge is almost impossible and not entirely fun. <laughs> Either way, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.